You're right guys, it's Capgun Tom here, and I'm back for another episode of This Town Ain't Big Enough for the Both of Us. It's the series in which we're trying to take Barcelona B all the way to the top, beating out our first team rivals Barcelona along the way. Now I did read a lot of you in the comment section of the last video saying that Barcelona B cannot be in the same league as Barcelona in real life. This is true. However, in the game it is not true. You can happily promote uh, Barcelona B into the first division. Now, uh, a lot of you wanted me to get Benzia he was one of the top rated players when you uh, guys were suggesting him but unfortunately as you saw he was slightly too much for our budget however we do believe that we can get Lucas Piazon for our team from Chelsea he was probably the most highly rated player out of you guys and the most suggested player I mean and uh, one that we're definitely going to try and si sign you can see that we put in quite a good bid for him but unfortunately he couldn't um, agree to terms with us purely because um, he hadn't uh, or he wasn't looking to move away from his home basically move it saying that he wants more money as he could be tempted away and you see that we got quite a tight wage budget at the moment I know that I can go and adjust those budgets by giving up some of my uh, my transfer budget I guess um, for more wage budget but at the moment we look all right we may just be able, be able to get him and we are going to go into our first game against Recreativo we are currently sitting near the top of the league um, after I think winning our first game in Liga Adelante in the last episode so hopefully we're going to keep on that run of good form and unfortunately I did already play this game but um, I got to the transfer deadline day and I got that freeze it, freezing glitch or whatever it is and I didn't have any progress so I couldn't use it which was really frustrating because this game was a cracker the first time around it was 3-3 however this game wasn't too bad I mean Rafinha there going through on goal um, in the 57th minute to uh, basically get us the only goal of the game and you can see there that is the uh, final time whistle ending the goal at game at 1-0 so um, not the most exciting of games as I said the first one was so good there was a bicycle kick and everything which makes it really frustrating that you know we got that freezing glitch uh, but I was more careful the next time making sure I saved right before the transfer deadline day you can see the table we are currently sitting uh, joint first place on six points so not too bad and we are going to go straight into our next T or next game against Gijon I believe that I may have missed out the little clip where um, Piazok Pizzi or however you say his name um, has uh, decided that he will join our club which is great news for us um, it means that he will join us I mean, didn't play him in this game purely because I uh, didn't think it was right to play him so soon after he uh, just joined the club but you see here Rafinha is turning out to be an excellent player for us he uh, sort of plays a centre forward role that's his preferred position but we're playing him at, like a centre mid but a very very forward centre mid um, you can see here in the 36th minute we actually extend our lead as well through Araujo a really nice scoop turn and he's another standout player for us I was originally um, playing our I think the Cameroonian striker that we start with I'm sorry that I don't know all of their names yet guys I will eventually know them um, but at the moment you know I'm just getting to grips with the team and who we've got in it but as I said I was starting to use the Cameroonian guy to begin with um, but I decided that I would you know use uh, Araujo as he has been playing very very well for us along with a couple of other players as well you can see here transfer deadline day and as I said I did get the freezing glitch the first time around loads of stuff happened the first time around and I was expecting a similar sort of um, performance in the second time round but unfortunately just nothing happened at all um, we ended up going all the way through transfer deadline day we didn't have any money to spend so there wasn't really anyone we could sign I did have a look at the free agents just to see who was about who we could get on you know on a free but unfortunately there wasn't anywhere anyone that we could get so uh, the next thing we have to do is we get another scouting re re report and uh, I think I'm not really sure of what I'm doing as you know I'm quite new to the whole manager mode thing I mean you guys need to inform me if I'm doing stuff wrong um, because at the moment I wasn't really sure of what uh, potential rating is um, obviously now I have been informed that a 60 to 84 potential player has the ability to get all the way to a rating of 84 so um, yeah that's basically how it's how it how it pans out you know I've got to you know, get used to everything that's in the game this is only my first ever manager mode I haven't played manager mode on any other game um, of FIFA ever so you have to really just bear with me we are going to go into our next game and we are playing against Sabadell this one is uh, quite a good game as well we did uh, do pretty well we dominated for the majority of it um, but uh, you'll see what happens in the end um, towards the end of the game anyway people keep asking me what difficulty am I playing on I did actually ask on Twitter what uh, difficulty you had to play on to make these series legit um, 
99% of people said world class or better so I did choose world class and you can see here this is what I was talking about I was dominating the game um, but unfortunately we did take this guy down in the box late on in the game so um, that was unfortunate they do um, end up converting this penalty which is really frustrating because it was very late on in the game and there was not much time for me to get back into it but um, so we do have to end that one 1-0 one which isn't great but uh, it's not the end of the world it is our first two points dropped though in this and we are now sitting on joint second place with Villarreal on 10 points each with uh, someone else topping the table with 12 so um, what I did was I realised that my squad are starting to drop thickness which was not a great thing so I switched out a whole load of them for the uh, game against RM um, Castilla or Real Madrid Castilla I think that is um, but a whole load of them started complaining uh, as they were in good form and they believed that they should have been, you know, playing the game. And I was like, how can I play you when you haven't got any energy and you need to be rested? You can't ask me to play you every single game. I mean, is it because it's the RM Castilla game and this is like a big game like um, a derby or like the El Clasico but for the Liga Adelante? I didn't really know um, why he was asking me to play him, but unfortunately... I just couldn't put him in. So I was playing like a reserve squad or like a second sort of squad. You can see there Dongu, this is the guy, the Cameroonian striker I was talking about, who I was initially playing as our first choice striker um, for uh, Araujo. But um, we put him in this game because obviously Araujo is starting to lack uh, fitness and thank God we did because he actually played really well. You can see there he got the first goal and he also uh, won us the penalty. Uh, just trying to choose uh, which player we should uh, be taking the penalty with. We go for Piazon. Um, as you guys love him so much, I decided to take the penalty with him. And this is his first goal for the club. So a nice goal from him there. It wasn't his first game, however. He did play the last game. I brought him on as a sub. But he didn't really have any sort of impact on the game. So I didn't think there was any point in showing you any clips from him. But you can see here, um, the free agent I had, Zogu. Um, a lot of you said that he was rubbish. He did put a nice ball through there at the end uh, for... Uh, our Cameroonian striker, I've forgotten his name again, Dongu, and um, unfortunately he blazed it over the bar as I tried to chip the keeper, but we do win that game 2-0, which is a really, really good result. It means that we are sticking very close to the top of the table. In fact, I believe that when we go and have a look at the table, we are now joint first again with Villarreal sitting on 13 points apiece. So guys, that is the end of the episode. I am trying to make all these uh, videos around the 8-minute mark, which is uh, quite difficult, but I will try my best. So if you could drop this video a like, it would be really appreciated and I will see you all next time.